Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies questions of SCPM subject in your CA final. In our last few months, we have covered every possible question from the module. So it was a request from all the students, sir, let's try to be doing questions from the Board of Studies portal also, hence we are over here. We are doing chapter number one, that is introduction to strategic cost management. Just before I continue, two requests. You all can join our Telegram channel for the updates whereby no nonsense is put, only the relevant things for you all is put. That is first. Second, in case you wish to be enrolling for a complete course, then the link is there in the description. You all can be enrolling for that. The moment you enroll, lecture starts. There is absolutely no need for you all to be calling us for anything. Let's start it off with a question uh, for today. Which of the following statements outlines the major limitations of traditional cost management? Now, traditional cost management is exactly opposite to strategic cost management. Okay. So, which of the following are the limitations? Okay. So, first, traditional cost management overlooks factors such as co uh, competition, market growth, customer requirements, as it primarily deals with quantitative aspects within the organization. Now, this statement, I think, is all correct. In fact, this is how we started with our entire subject also. This is also like, you know, whatever you all have done in CA Inter. In CA Inter, you know, your business sense was only this much. Sir, let's try to be controlling our cost. Costing was only about this. Let's try to be controlling our cost. In case we will control our cost, our profit will rise. But businesses have come far above this here. These days is not only about controlling your cost. It's about cost management, first of all, not only about cost control. And second, it's all about looking at whatever the customer needs and giving him more value for the price that he pays. Okay, so this is a major drawback of traditional cost management. It only tries to be thinking, let's cut down our costs, let's reduce our cost up and so on. That is first. Second, so first one is a limitation. Second one, traditional cost management places excessive emphasis on cost reduction, potentially foregoing strategic uh, cases leading to lower quality. Absolutely correct. This is a very big limitation. Example, one of your major topics in CA Inter was what? Standard costing. You should have purchased raw materials at 4 rupees. You purchase them at 3 rupees. Tell me, variance is adverse or favorable? It is favorable. Favorable means good news. No, it could be bad news also. Why? Might be you paid a lower price, but might be you purchased a far inferior quality. The customer will uh, realize this. Your goodwill will start to go for a toss. Your sales will start to be falling. Okay, it is bad for you. So we should consider all these aspects also. But all these aspects you never ever considered in traditional cost management. Kind of your CA interposition. We never ever considered those particular things. So this is also a very big drawback of uh, traditional cost management. Let's go over to the third one. Traditional cost management is static and historical, neglecting the dynamics of marketing, economics and relying on financial accounting data. Again, absolutely true statement. Why? Because traditional cost management was all about like, you know, setting the standards, making the budgets and then trying to be thinking that are we exactly performing as per the standards or budgets? In case not, then we try to be taking the corrective action. Now, but these days businesses have changed so much, so much, so much that any company who only tries to use the financial data, which is usually a past data, will not be able to cope up with the new developments that happen. Who would have thought that a company like NVIDIA will become bigger than companies like Apple and Microsoft also? Who would have thought that? But that is what uh, AI had done to the markets. So like, you know, things are constantly changing every now and then competition keeps on coming the dynamics of the businesses are changing every now and then this is something that traditional cost management never ever talks about okay so even third one is perfectly correct this is a drawback fourth one traditional cost management has broad focus on reviewing quantitative variances and deviations considering behavioral aspects also now see it has focus on quantitative variances Quantitative means something that you can measure. Example, as I told, material price variance, suppose if it is favorable, we try to be thinking it is like, you know, good. But then it fails to consider that if it is favorable, you might have purchased a lower quality. Let's talk of the reciprocal example. You should have purchased material at 6 rupees. You purchase at 8 rupees. Now, traditional cost management will be saying very bad. Why? Because there was excess cost you have incurred more amount of cost, which is very bad. But then it could have happened that you purchase better quality. Consumers like that. They place more orders. Your sales increased, your goodwill increased, your, your branding increased. 
so therefore traditional cost management never ever considered these behavioral aspects like you know that a variance quantitatively might be adverse but it might be good for the company also it never ever considered those things so therefore fourth one as such has to be false because traditional cost management does not focus on behavioral aspects it only considers the quantitative information and nothing else so therefore answer should be four bring me the four options first one and two one two and three this is two three and four and uh, the fourth one so we have to be answering which one of them is uh one sec i'll go back to the question which one of the following are the limitations so first is a limitation second is a limitation third is a limitation fourth okay it is a wrong statement only there is not a limitation okay so therefore out of the four options that are there okay this is the explanation which i have done so answer should be in this case one two and three are limitations so answer should be two that should be the correct one that is the correct one that's done for this video i'll see you all in the next video just a small reminder in case you wish to be watching all our mcqs from the module this is the qr code you all can click on it and see all the videos from the module of scpm i'll see you all next time take care till then bye